Hey guys, Feature Engineering. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of machine learning, Feature Engineering. We are starting a new series, a playlist of videos to understand everything about Feature Engineering. Explaining all the different methods of Feature Engineering with demo, with an example. It's often said that good features, that is good data, are what makes or breaks a model's performance. For now, let's explore what Feature Engineering is all about and how it can supercharge your machine learning projects. This video, we will deep dive and understand what is feature engineering, why feature engineering and benefits of feature engineering. The third thing that we will talk about how the techniques and the strategies in feature engineering. And lastly, one of the simple way, an example on feature engineering so that you can also understand how it really works. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI, this side Asif Imnad. Let's start with an amazing story here. Imagine you are an owner of the toy shop. Imagine your suppliers dumping all the toys you requested into a one room while you were setting up a gift shop. And it's going to look something like this, as you see in the image. It's a complete chaos. Imagine yourself standing in front of this enormous pile of toys, trying to locate the ideal gift for a kid, for a customer. You know that in the pile of these toys, in this chaos, what the kid is asking for. Now, imagine a second scenario. You first organize the toys before opening up the shop. You might want to group the toys into categories or you might even choose to replace some broken toys with the newer ones. You arrange the toys in a certain way so that you can find them easily. You might even realize some toys that you have asked for were missing and take the necessary actions even before the customer comes into your shop. That sounds like a more organized and sensible approach, right? Well, when we build machine learning models, in most cases, the data we deal with looks like this unorganized chaos of toys. This data need to be cleaned up and pre-processed before it can be put to use. And this is where feature engineering comes into play. So in simple words, it is a process that aims to bring chaos to orders. Let me get straight to the point. We all know machine learns from the data. Input we provide to the model is a data. But imagine if input data given to the model is not pure, it is not organized, it is not a quality data, it is not superior. Then how can we get the better model? How can we expect that the model precision and the accuracy will be as per expected? How can we increase the accuracy and the precision of the model? And also by the research, it is found that as you can see in the image, most of the time is spent is on cleaning and organizing the data, collecting the data, mining the data and very less time is spent on refining algorithm and training and testing your model. So once you have quality data, organized data, pure data, then it becomes very easier for you to create a high quality accurate models. When feature engineering activities are done correctly, the resulting data set is optimal and contains all the important factors that affect the business problems. This will result the most accurate predictive model and the most useful insights will be produced by your machine learning model. And creating of successful machine learning model looks something like this, right? You get the data from different sources. So you have a raw data, which is unorganized. It is chaos. Data is missing. We do not have much columns. And that's why we need to clean and transform the data. That means collect the features, look for the required features, make the data machine learning friendly. So before we go to modeling, where we provide our input, where we provide data to a machine learning model, before that make the data machine learning friendly. And this is the really important step in machine learning or in data science journey. So feature engineering is the process of transforming raw data into features that are suitable for machine learning models. In other words, it is a process of selecting, extracting and transforming the most relevant features from available data to build more accurate and efficient machine learning models. The success of machine learning model heavily depends on the quality of the features used to train them. So feature engineering involves a set of techniques that enable us to create new features by combining or transforming the existing ones. These techniques will help to highlight the most important patterns and the relationships in the data, which in turn helps the machine learning model to learn from the data more effectively. If this is very much clear to you, let's talk about what are the steps involved in feature engineering. But before we proceed and discuss in detail, if you're new here, 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our latest videos on AI. We have recently started this series so there are a lot of things that we are going to talk about. About 10 to 15 videos we will be creating only on the feature engineering. We see you're watching our videos but 90% of you are not yet subscribed. We put a lot of efforts creating these videos for you free so keep us motivated by liking and subscribing so in return YouTube algorithm will help us reach more audience. Did you subscribe and like? Thank you. Now let us see what are the ways to perform feature engineering. The steps for feature engineering vary as per different machine learning models and the data scientist. Some of the common steps that are involved in most machine learning algorithms are as you see on the screen. The first one is definitely the most important and the simplest one which everyone must think of doing is a data cleaning. The second thing is data transformation. We'll talk about this in short. The third thing is feature extraction. The fourth is feature selection. And the last one is feature iteration. Let's talk about this one by one quickly. First one, a data cleansing. Data cleansing, also known as data cleaning or data scrubbing, involves identifying and removing or collecting any errors or inconsistencies in the data set. This step is important to ensure that data is accurate and reliable. In short, we remove NANs, nulls, empty spaces, empty rows, which are not required. In short, we will be looking at unnecessary variables or the symbols which will be embedded in the columns like question mark or NAN values or the spaces, whatever you might think of cleaning that data before you feed that data to the machine learning model. So that's simple data cleaning. The second is data transformation. A data transformation is really important. It involves converting and scaling variables in the data set to make them more useful for machine learning. This includes the techniques like normalization, standardization and even the log transformation. Just to give you a simple example, machine learning doesn't understand categorical data, right? If you have a temperature given as a categorical input, let's say high, medium and low temperature, then machine doesn't understand that categorical data. So. In this situation, we need to transform those characters to numbers. So I might think of assigning some numbers to high, assigning some numbers to medium and assigning some numbers to low. And the other example of data transformation can be sometimes you might not have a complete data. I mean, you might have some fields of the rows empty. Data might be missing for a certain columns for a specific row. So if data is missing for certain rows, what values you should add? So in such scenarios, you can use normalization techniques and you can also use statistical ways where you can find mean, median or mod and the average of all the data points and feed the same. So that is data transformation. Don't worry, we are going to see all these types along with the techniques in detail with the demo in the future videos. Currently, we are just looking at the different steps involved in feature engineering. Okay, the third is feature extraction. Feature extraction involves creating new features from the existing variables in the data set. This can include techniques like very famous one that is PCA principal component analysis, a text parsing and even image processing. So just to give you an example, you might not have all the required columns or the complete data which can make a sense and which can be fed to the model. Let's say you just have two columns. One is timestamp, but only from the timestamp you can extract more columns, more features, right? From timestamp you can extract hours, you can extract days, you can extract weeks. So feature extraction is all about creating more columns or reducing columns so that machine learning actually makes the sense and finds the pattern in the data and create the better machine learning model. And the really good example for feature extraction we have seen in the last video where isolation forest data set we have worked with a New York City taxi data where we did feature extraction before feeding that data to isolation forest models. So check that video. I will keep the link in the I button above and also in the description you can find it out. So the initial part in that video is all about feature engineering and feature extraction. You can have a look at that. The fourth one is feature selection. Feature selection involves selecting the most relevant features. Sometimes you may have a huge data, but all that data might be unnecessary or all columns might not be required. So fetching only required data, fetching only required columns is really important. And by selecting only the specific features, you can not only save the training and testing model, but you also make your machine learning model to take the proper decision based on given a specific data. And it is not looking for unnecessary data. And the techniques that we use for this is a correlation analysis. Correlation coefficient matrix is a really nice example of this. A mutual information and stepwise regression. These are some of the techniques used in feature selection. 
and we also have an amazing video created on correlation coefficient matrix to improve the machine learning accuracy we discussed that with an example with a demo i will keep the link of that video in the i button you can check that out that as well talking about the last one which is feature iteration feature iteration involves refining and improving the features based on the performance of the machine learning model this can include a technique like adding new feature removing redundant features and transforming features in a different ways overall the goal of feature engineering is to create the set of informative and relevant features that can be used to train a machine learning model and improve its accuracy and performance the specific steps involved in process may vary depending on the type of the data and specific machine learning problem at the end i'm not saying that you have to perform all these steps it depends on the type of machine learning model that you are creating depends on the data what you are using so based on that you have to make the decision that whether i need to transform the data whether i need to extract the new features or use a feature selection method to get the specific relevant columns and one of the technique that is used in feature iteration is bindings and it is the process of grouping continuous features into discrete beans this can help simplify the features and reduce the noise in the data what it is how it works we'll see in the future videos this is a really simple example to handle missing data and we have used a feature cleaning technique which is called imputation method to work with the data so here we have a very simple demo to handle missing data the data set that we have used is titanic survival we've already seen this beautiful movie performed by leonardo dicaprio and kate winslet right so we all know the story what happened with the titanic right so we need to get the survival predictions on the titanic data set but before we do that before we do the prediction who can get survived whether it is a female survival rate is more does age has any effect on the survival rate does gender has any effect on the survival rate but before we do that before we feed that data to machine learning model all we need to do is handle the missing data that is feature engineering we need to do right so first let's import the required libraries i am importing pandas numpy seaborn matplotlib and we have also created different python class missing data we are importing it as ms we will be using this ms further to use some of the functions from this class i'll show you that class how it looks like for now let's load the data set so we have a data set that is titanic csv we are just loading the data and we are just looking at initial eight rows shift enter so this is how the data looks like whether they survived not survived this is the y column zero one zero stands for not survived one stands for survived passenger class gender age cbsp fair we don't really need to go into that detail we just need to clean the data right so from this i can see the fifth row is nan right so this is where i might need a cleaning of data so first of all let's check the missing values so for missing values i have used ms dot check missing this is our function and we have created our class which is missing data let me show you how it looks like it is really simple we have created our own functions to check missing values to drop missing values to add variable and denote it by na impute na that means add na with the arbitrary value impute na with the average impute na with end of distribution impute na with random values so these are the functions that we have created to clean the data to work with the data i'm going to upload this code on the github repository and i will make it available for you you can check that out in the pin comment and also in the description box you can download and try out the same thing so for now let's see how many missing data how many missing values do we have for that i have used a simple function check missing and i'm going to check missing i'm calling this check missing and here i'm using pandas.concat and we are using a very simple function on the data that is data.isnull.sum to get the the field right 1 2 3 4 how many fields we have null and finally i'm storing those values in the results by creating two columns one is total missing and the proportion so we need to see total missing fields for any columns that we have right so once we have new data set prepared showing total missing values and the proportion we are just printing it here so let's see how it looks like let me execute this to see the missing values so i can easily see that total missing for age is 177 whereas for other columns we do not have any missing data beautiful i can also do the list wise deletion so the very simple thing that i can do where i do not have any data i can simply drop them right wherever i have na nan i can drop those fields right for that i'm using drop missing so let me go to drop missing and see what we have written here i'm creating a copy of the data set and then i'm using a simple function drop na on the same axis and in place is false because i don't want to save it back in the original data set i want to save it in the data copy okay and print that data copy return that and print that and let me see the shape now so i have 714 
rows now that means 177 I have 714 rows now and six column let me see initially before dropping how many rows we had for that I think we executed this let me see so you see we did data dot shape before dropping those NA and NAND rows right NAND fields so we had 891 and after dropping we have 714 similarly we can perform many other operations like adding a variable to denote NA arbitrary value imputation mean median mod imputation so all of this you can try out on your own currently this was just to understand what feature engineering means and how can we handle missing data in future videos we are going to deep dive and see these feature engineering techniques in detail with the specific feature engineering technique so make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected so now let's conclude this video in this video we have discussed feature engineering for machine learning we have covered the basics of feature engineering including why feature engineering is important and some of the most common techniques and the steps involved in feature engineering we encourage you to experiment with feature engineering to see how it can improve the performance of your machine learning model and that's how we come to an end of this video if you have any questions regarding the same let us know in the comment below if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you for watching see you again next time till then take care and bye bye